Number eight says, Anna and Tom have the same number of stamps. Anna puts her stamps in rows of six. Tom puts his stamps in rows of eight. Neither of them have any partial rows. What is the least number of stamps that Anna and Tom could each have? For this question, what they're really asking you is, what is the least common multiple of six and eight? If Anna is able to put her stamps in rows of six, that means that she has either six stamps, 12 stamps, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. Anna can have any of these amounts of stamps and put them in rows of six evenly without having any stamps left over. Now, Tom puts his in rows of eight. So Tom could have eight stamps, 16, 24, 32, 40. All right, let's stop right here. What they want is what is the least number of stamps that Anna and Tom could each have. We already have a number that is common to both of them, 24. And that's the least amount. So what this tells us is that it's possible that Anna has 24 stamps and Tom also has 24 stamps. And they would be able to put them in rows of six and eight without having any stamps left over. So B would be my choice.